Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's just truly. Uh, just call and say hello. Uh, see how what everybody up to and everything. And um, I know it's been a while. It's been a minute. Everything. Been busy doing my thing, of course, as always. Uh, just shout out to everybody who's still sending me emails about my previous videos and everything. Just let you know that, yes, I'm thankful. And uh, at the same time, you're welcome. So um, basically, just uh, holler back, keep it coming. And uh, I'll try my best to hit as much as everybody as I can as possible, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, what I decided to do is just um, several people asked me, well, um, Rico, why you like the Washington Redskins so much? Well, I figured um, I might as well go ahead and uh, say it. I've um, been a Redskins fan pretty much all my life. Um, born in D.C. General, born in Washington, D.C. It's natural that, uh, you know, D.C. General is like right next to RFK Stadium where the Redskins used to play at. And um, and pretty much, I'm not a person of destiny or anything like that, but I just it's just kind of like a match. Well, I don't want to say it like that. It's just born and bred, you know. I'm mean, a true Redskins fan. Can't worry about anybody else, you know. You know, in D.C., you have these so-called Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, sometimes not everybody can't make the right decisions and stuff like that. So, hey, they want to be Cowboys fans or they want to be so-called Ravens fans or whatever. Let them be. You know, they'll eventually find out at the end of the day that uh, there's only to be Redskins fans and true Redskins fans. Anyway, my whole point is um I'm dedicated. I'm I don't never had to um had to consider changing teams or anything like that. And even since it's been now almost twenty years, over twenty years since the Redskins won a Super Bowl, I'm still I'm still a loyal fan, that's what it is. I mean people still don't understand that then obviously you can't be a fan. You know, it, I find it funny that people tell me, well, the Redskins ain't good, Redskins ain't good. Oh, they were good 20 years ago. They were good this time and that time. I'm like, it doesn't matter. You stand by your team. You know, it's not concerned despite what the problems that my team's going with now. You know, the owner, a couple players, this and that. And, you know, hey, it is what it is. We're going to try. We're going to do our best, you know, and, um, and uh, every season, the good thing is, is always going into the new season, we have a chance. I honestly feel like we have a chance to compete. And going back to um, why I'm also a fan, because only a certain person can be a fan of the burgundy and gold. Personally, my favorite color is navy blue, as you can see right here. But you will not catch me in some nasty ass navy blue. Dallas Cowboys nasty ass star ain't happening is what it is so um burgundy and gold all the way like it or not I don't really care because that's what it is I would get off my bed here and but I don't need to prove to you that I'm a Redskins fan I don't need to maybe one day I don't know what whatever my whole point is the reason I like the Redskins and I just want to put that out there. My favorite all-time Redskin, of course, would be Daryl Green. And a close second would be Art Monk. Um, growing up in the 80s, those two guys kind of stand out more than anything. These guys have been in the Redskin long tenure to Daryl Green. I bet you he still can outrun half these guys in the NFL nowadays. He's always been the fastest man. Um, Daryl Green, has, you know, he has his own way of doing things. You know, he's been an integral part in a, um, pretty much uh, a lot of the Redskins' runs through whether it's the Super Bowl when they make the playoffs and been has been a key, a serious key on highlights. I mean, he had that reputation was his speed and the certain things he did, not just for what he did on the field, also what he did off the field. And uh, Art Mark, that's pretty much the same thing. He's been quiet off the field. You know, he's just going put in the work and go home, you know, and um, it's good, you know, making the Hall of Fame and everything, also, um, John Riggins, who's a little bit older, uh, Riggo, he, he pretty much set the tone for the modern day 
Redskins, and uh, along with the Hogs, Bostic, Jacoby, uh, Mark May, uh, Russ Grimm. I'm sorry, it's just mine's tricking me today. <laughs> the Hogs, and actually, be honest with you, if any, if anybody if, out of the Redskins championship teams, out of all the out of all the wrestling championship teams, out of all the players that, that play in the championship, team, the Hogs should have their must do. Far and away, should have their must do. They 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 don't get enough praise. They should get more praise than anything. Hopefully, Russ Grimm does get an NFL head coaching job one day, and um, we'll see. But um, going back to modern times, I'm optimistic the Redskins are going to get together and find a way to get back to at least in the playoff hunt, uh, getting in the playoff hunt. I don't like how the situation went down last year with uh, Donovan McNabb. Um, here it is, you know, bringing, you, you acquire McNabb, you know, saying you're going to do this, do that, we're going to be a playoff contender, We're going, McNabb's our man, we're going to ride or die with him. Then you're going to treat him like crap pretty much towards the middle to the end of the season, if not pretty much the whole season, you know. I understand McNabb is older, getting older and stuff, but like I said, it wasn't his fault. You know, coaching staff need to get the crap together. Um, be honest with you. Uh, the coordinator, the head coach, Shanahan, man, yeah, I, I got to get it together, man. I mean, I'm, I'm just hoping things will get better, and we'll see. I'm hoping, you know, always got to beat Dallas, always got to beat the NFC East, some nasty-ass Eagles. You know, I'm, I love Michael Vick, but I can't stand y'all nasty-ass Philadelphia Eagles fans. Hey, it's a compliment. Take it. Giants fans, Really, I can't say nothing, Giants fan, because they've been beating our ass lately. But uh, y'all suck too. Anyway, Cowboys fans, I ain't even gonna go there. <laughs> and um, me growing up in Atlanta, that's another thing. Grew up in Atlanta. Um, I never really followed the. I mean, I followed the Falcons, but not like I'm Redskins first always. I never really like. The only time I had anything Falcons was the Michael Vick jersey, like you said. Falcons, I always had sympathy for because there was a team that had potential, and when they were bad, the fan base kind of straight, you know, dissed them. Then when they became, they're, Atlanta's a fair weather city when it comes to pro football and pro sports all together. You got to win in order for people to come see you. It is what it is around here. You know, nowadays the Falcons get a little better. Fans want to talk mess. They want to talk mess to me because I'm a Redskins fan. I'm like, hold up, come back to me when you got a Super Bowl. Seriously. And, um, you know, it is what it is. I I, I really care less for Arthur Blank. Um, my reason is more related to uh, how he treated Michael Vick, how Michael Vick was treated, really, period. And that's a whole other video. <laughs> but um, Redskins till I die, man. Hail to the freaking Redskins. What's up?